Hi guys, welcome to this week's update. It is the 16th of January, it's a Tuesday. I have been busy and at the same time it feels like I've done absolutely nothing. I, uh, I'm only out to bring him down for the L1 commission. I have this tank, it's to be repainted in all the way colour so that one didn't need to be primed. But I had primed these bad boys. I have to bring them down. I'm going to crack out the airbrush them in a few minutes. I'm working on the Menoth flame bringers. Um, the horses are more or less done. The hooves have to be done. Maybe a couple of highlights, eyes, and then the leathery bits. But I painted the rider's bone and washed them. Excuse me. So I have to wait for that to dry. In the meantime, I was working on Prince. Oh crap. Prince Uriel. So here he is. Wet blended the banners to give him the grey colour. Same with the cloak. So he's done. Uh, the last time I think I showed you anything, I had the Dark Reapers and possibly this bad boy done. Banshees, so they're all painted the same. They were quick and easy to paint. The fire dragons weren't as quick and easy because they're orange and yellow, yellow heads. So it took a while for the, the glaze medium to actually dry on the airbrush with them. Uh, they have to be based yet, yeah, but. Uh, I think the client is doing them, he wants to do them himself because he hasn't decided on a base scheme yet. And Striking Scorpion. Uh, this could be either the Squad Leader or the Exarch. I think it might be the Exarch because he has the Scorpion's Claw. But I love the Striking Scorpion models, they're so cool. And I put, um, I put a bit of a glow on the gemstone. On their... So it's just to make it look like the souls of past Eldar and the soul stones are angry and willing to fight with them. Just try to add a bit of backstory to it. So for the Eldar now there's one, two, three, there's four squads done. Uh, I was going to say Warlord. Uh, Raid Lord and Prince Uriel. And I also finished this big pain in the backside. The Scorn Battle Engine. I might just pop it on the laptop so it's easier to move them about. And he's all reassembled, ready for snow to be added. I have to do all that yet, and I might actually do it soon enough. I tried to paint the stones in here to make it look like they were slightly, the stones, the steps, make it look like they were slightly scuffed. He's really battle damaged up, as you imagine he would be going into the middle of battle. So he's done as well. And there's the other phone. So uh, I was having problems with my broadsides actually staying on their bases and the gun staying on them. Now this guy's leg broke off and I just left him in the bottom of the case. I'd never bothered fixing him. So he's been fixed up and he was already base coated. So he's ready for painting. Um, as you can see, the paint style is slightly different as it goes on and I forgot what I was doing so I'm going to rebase go him in the darker pink uh, he doesn't have feet because I don't have feet and these bits are broken this is a recovered battle suit from someone else's um, like the the chap just had him and he was in bits and he said you can have him if you want I'll strip him so I said yeah sure why not so I was able to just a uh, bit of green stuff and super glue these boys on so uh, I was going to paint him until I realised he was the wrong colour. This guy always had a bit more done than the other ones. So you can see the green stuff under the gun just to try and hold it on a bit more. Uh, I took out Alan Va to paint him and then looked at the detail and went no thanks. That's for another stage. I had a lot of blue left in my tank on the, or the my paint pot and the airbrush so I started blueing up the Dire Avengers. 
I have painted, which I have taken into account because it's been about two weeks since uh, I last recorded what I was doing. Uh, it only got uploaded last week, but it is about two weeks. So I have my cr three Crisis bodyguards all painted up. And I gave these guys, um, they have plasma and fusion blasters. And I gave them red instead of orange, just so that, that I know by looking at the, the battle suit pile in my box that uh, these guys are the bodyguards. I painted up two just... Uh, these guys were in a box that I got and I didn't bother breaking them down. So he has a missile pod, a plasma rifle and a shield generator. And the other guy, I, I painted five of them for some reason instead of going for the full six. But I was painting a commander at the time. Uh, fusion, missile pod and shield generator on that guy. So that's them done. Painted up my other Forge Royal Commander, Fusion Plasma Rifle. This guy has the target lock thing on the top here. So uh, this guy is now done as well. He actually has broadside feet for some reason because I was class and I was building them all up. But that's uh, six crisis suits there, one of them being a commander, three bodyguards, two standard. Then I painted a five man fire warrior squad. There, painted up. So that's them. Just painted up the same as the breachers. They have to, I have to do the the brown stuff around the base with them, and then on everything else, I done the the crackle medium, which if you watch my other video, you would have seen how some of the bases turned out there. That one actually turned out pretty decently. I show you the the riptide. All right, well here's commander, quick draw, or fusar depending. So base there turned out pretty decently and the riptide I kind of prefer the way it turned out on the riptide more than nothing else because it looks like there's like tracks and like it almost looks like there's been vehicles dragged through that sort of thing so he's the one I, just, I haven't decided on the base rim colour yet I might do it that's the light might do a black I might do a brown I haven't decided yet and I also have to see which I have more paint of and then last night I painted up my material on hover drone, so he is now done. And I also painted up this dude as well. Uh, just the old metal ethereal, just to get them done. So I think it's only on vase the only ethereal I have left then, and I have a lot of infantry and suits to get through, but. Um, actually hold on a second and I'll get what's in the case out and I'll have a look then. Alright guys, so what was in the case was um, my piranha I painted a couple of months ago. I have two marker light drones, a uh, shield drone, four gun drones, a uh, ghost keel, stealth drone, the shield and missile drone for the riptide, a uh, drone I picked up in a trade, needs repainting, one stealth suit, three pathfinders and one uh, fire warrior breacher. Now this is all that's left in that case, um, I have a case full of stuff I got in a trade that has yet to be painted and the other day I went and primed, this is really bad, I think I have about 27 pathfinders, 7 of them are painted, so I primed 20 pathfinders, 2 of the big recon drones, 2 of the grav inhibitor drones, 2 of the pulse accelerator drones, um, A shield drone, a marker light drone, um, my Cold Star Commander. I think that was it for the tail, and there was two war machine models that I was missing from a squad for Patron P. So um, that's it then. That's nearly one full case of tail painted. But looking back at these guys, they obviously have an uh, Agrax Airshade wash in them. So what I might do is go through the stuff I've already painted and add the Agrax. Um, the, the breachers have it anyway. Uh, so that's nearly a full case painted after I do Anva and the three broadsides. I think that's more or less it all done. And then the Fire Warriors, obviously. But uh, yeah, a good bit painted so far. Still a good bit to paint. I have the Tidewall gun port. I have the Tidewall drone port. I have 
to finish long strikes, hammerhead, I have another hammerhead, I have another devilfish, more suits, another commander, sniper drones, crew, crew hounds, I think I have two unit, two ten man units, fire warriors, so there's still a lot to do, um, tower wise, I haven't even started on the blood angels yet, but I'm going to stop now because I, um, I think I, I need to get back to do actually painting instead of rambling, but uh, that'll be it for this video guys. Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for sticking with me if you have. And happy wargaming.